hi everyone welcome back to my channel today is going to be a bunch of gist <laughs> yeah just compartment of gist from the big brother house okay starting from yesterday the housemates received messages from home every season that um gesture from big brother is one that i always look forward to seeing and um it's always an emotional moment yes everyone um had the opportunity to at least see their um relatives on the big screen inside big brother house and sometimes their relatives say one or two to them send a message to them that if you want to know why i said so just watch the end of this video and you understand why i said that and then it's a clue also i guess because victoria's sister told her that she should not let anyone tell her that she's slow so that's a clue in it right um after that obviously um they were given a task by big brother to mimic um past housemates and there was a little bit of um misunderstanding between um Onyeka and um, victoria and in the sense that they were giving her some housemates to mimic that i think she wasn't comfortable with or she didn't want to i can't really place my hand on it and Uyeka was imposing it on her which i'm wondering why Uyeka is imposing such on victoria because i don't think anyone was being forced to take up on any housemates mimicking any housemates um unwillingly okay so that was it it wasn't that deep though to me oh i don't know you know these things for me i don't try to connect emotionally too much with any of these things ahead and um, moving on after workouts today this morning if i'm not mistaken you know, like, like, is it today or yesterday but after the their workouts um Unika, Ozi, and Suj were having a brief conversation i'll call it brief conversation whereby um ozi was telling Unika not to touch him but you know it's, the irony of the whole thing was that a night before these people <laughs> shared the bed but it's weird which one is worst her holding your hand or you guys sharing a bed <laughs> and he was complaining that um his significant other would not like it so i'm like ozi now it's confirmed that it was all the game i'm tempted to now believe what tj said in his interview that the triangle between victoria onyeka and ozi is something that they planned well i don't know <laughs> because this house made see more than we see <laughs> you understand they are the ones living in the big brother house so they see the things that you and i don't see and um he was saying um he does not want um unnecessary pda with her obviously because he has a serious relationship and um his significant other will not be happy seeing all of those pdas going back and forth and i'm like ozi this is almost the end of the season are you trying to break up with Onyeka? okay if at all they even had anything they didn't have anything either right i don't think they're in a relationship but i don't get you see eh, there's something about that um that dynamics between ozi victoria and Onyeka. i don't want to believe that it's planned i want to assume that it's part of their game in as much as it's coming up like a strategy oc meant sorry oz meant i mean by that statement it is what it is but we watched from the beginning to the end and we know what exactly <laughs> happened we might not fully know everything but partially we do all right today i'm shooting this video it's first october um happy birthday happy 64th birthday to nigeria in as much as the nigeria is nothing to really be happy about but we thank god for life and good health so the housemates equally celebrated it for me i envy them they're the ones that actually celebrated nigeria very well <laughs> they had enough to eat and drink they were entertained by a live band um they even had this artist praise that guy is was a winner i knew him from mtm project fame he wasn't a winner i think he was a runner up if i'm not yeah he was a runner up with nyanya nyanya was the winner of that season and he was the first runner up and he gained weight he looks good though so he was the one that came to entertain the housemate it was a whole lot meanwhile big brother asked them to write something about nigeria like a, a tribute to nigeria so each and every one of them um, penned down their tributes and they one by one came and then recited it it was a whole lot there was also cake as well that they 
um, courts. Okay, so after the whole celebration, they all came back to the house. As soon as they walked in, Cassia, as I said, Cassia, I'm sorry, Victoria. <laughs> Look at me, referring to Victoria as Cassia. Mm, see what friendship can do. Oh, so Victoria and Ozzy sat down and they were having a conversation. Like, like yeah, I would say they were having this series of conversations. Um, they started talking about, uh, you know, the camera keeps going back and forth, but let me speak about the juicy path. When um, they were having this conversation, Victoria was asking um, Ozzy the who are his three favorite females because he i don't know what brought about beauty female beauty in the uh, okay they started talking about the male handsome guys in the house and victoria said she told sean that he was the finest guy in the house and was he yeah, accepted that yes he loves um um sean's dress sense okay and um they now moved on to the females and victoria said in her own opinion all of the females in the house this season are beautiful and I, and I cannot agree less with her all of them are beautiful in their in their different ways and um he told her to list or so and she was literally listing all the girls then she asked him his three top um beautiful girls so he said hi and she was like i beg i don't want eye services because i'm here why are you calling me first so he was like he's not calling he said he's not calling based on like first second third like based on any listing that he's just calling randomly so the second he said was ne from the indian pair and then the third was Unika. wow let's pretend we were surprised and even the victoria herself said like why did it take him that long to call uh, Unika? but that was by the way that one also passed so while they were doing that and by the side <laughs> nelly wani suj and anita did I mention Onyeka? They were actually playing their normal truth out there. They was not as loud as usual. They were just freestyling with it. So they asked Onyeka to, to choose whether it's truth or it's there. So she first chose truth, but Nelly insisted that she choose it there. And then she eventually chose it there. So they dared her to go and is it grind OC or something like that. Or drink. And she was like, no, she doesn't want to get drunk this night. And... Um, she was now asked that she should, and now she re, she was reluctant honestly because he was having any conversation with victoria so they were daring her to go there and excuse him and then grind him or whatever and she was not really in tune with it at some point she was contemplating she should take the alcohol in her hand she she like she was just all over the place so she told them that initially she actually chose truth but they are imposing there on her they're like no 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 she should dare so she was like okay if she does it she will also dare them and they must do whatever it is she said so they kept going back and forth like that but eventually did she do it yes she did yeah so she went there excused him did whatever it is they were daring her to do and then it was while the whole thing was happening <laughs> victoria was just laughing look i like that girl's style honestly she was just laughing <laughs> you can't you get so after the whole thing he came back and he was telling her that this treat or dare game is not something he really likes but sometimes when they ask you to do something and you don't do it you end up looking stupid and she was like in her own opinion it doesn't work that way that um she would do what she wants to do and no one like she was just everybody has is, is entitled to his own kind of way and opinion and the way they do things so she, to her she said it's not that deep and then they continue their conversation but and then the other side they were also going back and forth the ideas were even very funny imagine when you can when he asking um nelly to lick suits and pits and <laughs> that's weird right so they kept going back and forth in fact they were just like i said the truth or their game wasn't the usual truth or their game where everyone was committed they were just like you know where it's almost like they were just trying to fill in the bottom after the party because biggie was playing music after a while he stopped playing the music so it's almost like you know the last week is usually like that in fact this time around they even tried for me i like the way that they left the top eight though because usually the last week is like the most boring so at least having eight people in the house is still giving some vibes here and there mm -hmm. and um 
did I mention that when the housemates are giving messages from home, it says a lot because when you guys were saying something like, sorry, mom, I think maybe I don't know if her mom cautioned her about exposing her body. So she was like, she's sorry, mom, and all of that. All right, this brings me to the end of the video. Thank you so much and subscribe, okay? Thank